Hey there, folks. Welcome back to day six of 30 Days of Banjo. What you've just heard is what we're going to learn today, something called roll patterns. You've probably heard a lot of these before, but maybe didn't have a word for them. It's the name for the patterns that banjo players play that kind of sounds like it's just rolling along. That's probably why we call them roll patterns. So we've got three different patterns to learn today, and then we're going to keep practicing with the picking pattern version of Boil That Cabbage Down that we looked at yesterday. So the first roll pattern is called the alternating thumb roll, and that looks and sounds like this. Now you can probably understand why they call it that because your thumb alternates with the other two fingers. Thumb index, thumb middle. Pretty simple. The next roll pattern we're gonna learn is kind of a variation on what we call a forward roll. Forward roll just means that you're playing thumb, index, middle, kind of like this. The way we're using it in this example is by playing one quarter note and then two forward rolls, like this. The next roll pattern we want to look at is called the forward backward roll. And we call it that because first we go forward, thumb, index, middle, then we go backwards, middle, index, thumb. The full pattern looks like this. The way that you're going to want to practice these is to isolate them and loop them on their own and then play them all back to back. So that'll sound something kind of like this. And if you're looking for a way to count these, remember that they're made up of quarter notes and eighth notes. So for instance, most of these are just gonna be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. The forward roll variation is a little different because there's a quarter note in the beginning, so it'll be like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. One really important thing to understand about roll patterns is that they're not really about what strings you're playing, it's really about what order you put your right hand fingers in. Because you can play something like this alternating thumb roll, thumb, index, thumb, middle, but you can also put it on different strings. You could do thumb, index, thumb, middle. You could do thumb, index, thumb, middle. There are a lot of different options and it's really more about the right hand. Just focus on these patterns for now, but what we'll see later on in this series is different versions of the same rolls. They feel kind of the same because the right hand's doing the same thing, we just have to target different strings. So something to keep in mind, but not super important for this lesson in particular. Okay, so once again, that's it for this lesson. Get really comfortable with these roll patterns, but also keep practicing your picking pattern version of Boil That Cabbage Down. The featured banjo player for this lesson is J.D. Crow. He's another one of those early second generation banjo players like Sonny Osborne. He played with someone named Jimmy Martin, who's a really famous figure in bluegrass early on, and then later went on to play with his own band, J.D. Crow and the New South, and the Bluegrass Album Band. Really important bands in the history of bluegrass, and one of my favorite banjo players. So enjoy the playlists in the description of this video. Get some listening for J.D. Crow. Beyond that, make sure to do your practicing, and if you don't mind, subscribe to this channel and like this video. Again, that's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I'll see you again tomorrow for day seven of the 30 Days of Banjo. Music